I'm Ashton Addison from Event Chain for Investment Pitch Media and FinTech News Network. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Brock Pierce, philanthropist and venture capitalist. Brock, it's a pleasure to have you on the show today and it's a pleasure to see you. No, thank you for having me. Glad to be here. You're very welcome. I know you're currently engaged in a number of projects, one of those being Puerto Rico focused qualified opportunity zones. How did this particular endeavor materialize? And let's start with, you know, Puerto Rico. Why Puerto Rico? Well, I, uh, I realized a little while ago that wherever I go, people will show up. And so I can live in New York, I can live in San Francisco, I can live in London, love all of those cities, but I'm not making the world a better place by being there. And so I wanted to run an experiment and see if I go somewhere that could use a little bit of help, you know, will interesting people uh, able to make the world a better place show up. And uh, we're still in the very beginning stages of this experiment. Uh, but so far, I'd say as a venture capitalist, you know, it's working. Uh, a thousand, you know, extraordinary people have moved to Puerto Rico since uh, uh, the beginning of this experiment. And, uh, you know, that's in part because of some people are interested in the things that I'm able to, to share. But also, it's one of the only places that an American can live and pay zero taxes, which is why qualified opportunity zones are so interesting. The most important, probably, tax reform in the last you know, 50 or 100 years. And that is that if you take any capital gain that you have and you invest it into a part of America that needs capital investment to make that area, to stimulate that you know, sort of economic development, uh, you get to defer your capital gains for seven years and then eventually 10 years and you essentially pay 15% tax and your cost basis adjusts. Essentially, you pay no tax. And so um, uh, this is places like uh, 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 Inglewood in Los Angeles or Oakland in San Francisco, parts of Brooklyn in New York. And there are these what are qualified opportunity zones all over the country. What's interesting about Puerto Rico is that 96% of the island is a qualified opportunity zone. And so if you've made any money this year, you should be investing that capital into parts of America that need economic stimulus, Puerto Rico being one of those places. And so I'm championing, championing uh, Puerto Rico as a place for investment, which, as, I'm, as, as far as I can tell, is the only luxury destination that is a qualified opportunity zone. That's wonderful, Brock. And what have you learned since you first arrived in Puerto Rico? And when did you first start this initiative? Well, I've been working on uh, Puerto Rico since 2014. I, I started the first crypto bank um, in Puerto Rico because of its unique uh, laws. And then, uh, uh, so I've been down there uh, helping right since right after the hurricane, Hurricane Maria. And the qualified opportunity zone laws are, are just taking effect now. So this is entirely new. But now, you know, Puerto Rico is the one place an American can live and pay no taxes. Now, because of qualified opportunity zones, Americans anywhere in the world can pay no taxes on their capital gains as long as they invest those gains into places where economic stimulus is needed. Um, uh, so Puerto Rico had a unique advantage, and that advantage is now dissipating. Now every city has to fend for itself and capital is not going to be equally divided across the nation. Capital is going to end up in the locations where there are, call it ambassadors, promoting investment in that region. And I'm, you know, one of those unofficial ambassadors promoting investing in Puerto Rico. If you've made money, come visit and uh, invest in Puerto Rico. That's great. And there's a lot of people that don't really know what's going on right now. So maybe you could give a little bit of the current state of Puerto Rico and then what you're ultimately trying to achieve through this initiative. Yeah, well, uh, Puerto Rico is ground zero of the new world. Most people don't know, but this is where Christopher Columbus set up shop in 1493. And so it's literally the birthplace where all of Europe's influence on all of North and South America or the new world that existed long before you arrived, began. Um, and so it's a place that's undergone about 500 years of hardship. Most recently, due to Hurricane Maria, you had three and a half million people living in Puerto Rico. Following the hurricane, it became three million. And the half a million people are nearly 20% of the population that left were not just any of the 20% of the population, it was the people with the means to leave. The intellectual capital, the financial capital, the human capital, et cetera. And so uh, what Puerto Rico needs more than anything else is, you know, 
most importantly, talented Puerto Ricans that care about coming home because opportunities exist there now, uh, as well as a handful of, uh, you know, migrants such as ourselves uh, that are there uh, in service and trying to lend a hand uh, in helping Puerto Rico rebuild itself. That's amazing. Now let's bring the other element into this conversation, more specifically about the qualified uh, opportunity zones. You know, what is your passion behind these projects and what are you really trying to achieve in the, in the short term here? Well, there's a, there's, uh, you can do just about anything, but the area that, the thing that keeps me up at night is uh, food resiliency and food security. Most of the, uh, uh, the food on the island is um, imported, even though there's very fertile soil. Puerto Rico only has about two to three weeks of food, meaning if a Category 5 hurricane were to hit Miami, Puerto Rico runs out of food because it could disrupt supply chains. And so uh, I'm very interested personally in investing in and supporting agriculture. I would love to see Puerto Rico develop food security and food resiliency. You know, so if you're interested in uh, building, you know, uh, sustainable farms, uh, please seek me out. That's, uh, you know, a personal passion of mine right now. That's great. And of course, food is one of the essentials of life. So you really need to have that to be able to move into a society that has, you know, bringing back this other intellectual capital and bring back more of a, a workforce so you can have, you know, a flourishing community. Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, food, food is... Uh, <laughs> Uh, essential. And uh, uh, surprisingly, there's very little of it in the Caribbean. Uh, even though, again, Puerto Rico has a rainforest. For for Americans, it's the only rainforest in the United States. Uh, I mean, it is, it's such a beautiful place. It's paradise. Weather is exceptional. If you've never visited Puerto Rico, you know, the thing that you can do to be helpful is take a trip down and visit. Yeah. That's amazing. And you mentioned at the beginning that you started the first crypto bank there in 2014. Have, has that helped the economy since then? Or how is that changing the people of Puerto Rico right now? And has that moved into, because uh, qualified opportunity zones didn't exist back then, you were already, you were already there helping the communities that, that needed help. So how has that influenced the current state of what you're doing now in Puerto Rico? Well, blockchain or crypto uh, currencies, but the underlying blockchain technology is uh, you know, something that's helping to move the world forward. If you, if you go and do a poll right now and say, what are the most important technology hubs in the world? Where is block, what are the main blockchain sort of cities on the planet? Um, Puerto Rico normally would not have been one of those places where you would think that techno it's a technology leading you know, place. But if you walk around San Francisco and you talk to you know, Silicon Valley, venture capitalists who say, what are the blockchain hubs of the world? They say Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is one of the main hubs where a lot of the leading technologists, the leading cryptographers, the, uh, the world's great uh, uh, makers, creators, are for whatever reason flocking to. So I think, um, I mean, if you think about like the industrial revolution, if you think about the development of the world, uh, every major city is a major city because it sat at the forefront of some type of major evolutionary or revolutionary event. Um, and Puerto Rico, uh, uh, you know, has its seat at the table now. That's amazing. And in terms of, you know, the horizon for these initiatives to be implemented into the community and actually bring value, is this something that's been started a while back and it's now, you know, bringing direct value to people? Or is this something that's being worked on throughout 2019? It's a multi-year project. Oh yeah, this is. I mean, governments spend hundreds of billions of dollars to, uh, you know, attempt what we're attempting to do here, and this is absolutely at its infancy. We've accomplished very little. Uh, there's still tremendous work to be done, but yeah, about a thousand people have moved. Uh, a startup ecosystem now exists. There's um, uh, co-working facilities, startup accelerators, incubators. Uh, angels, mentors. Historically, there had been no Puerto Rican startups that had raised any meaningful money. And Puerto Rico now has six startups in the last, call it six months, that have raised over a million dollars. So there is, we're at the very beginning stages of a startup ecosystem emerging, which is important. Most people don't know this, but Puerto Rico has more bachelor degrees than any other place in the United States per capita. Puerto Rico has more artists than anywhere in the United States per capita. You know, the Puerto Rican people are incredibly talented. 
they've just lacked uh, opportunity. And, uh, you know, hopefully we're, you know, creating some of that opportunity uh, and inspiring people to realize they can, they can do whatever they want. They have all the talent in the world. It's amazing, Brock. Sounds like a very talented group of people. And uh, I'm sure there's other initiatives going on besides your food initiative or other things you're looking to get into with the help of more people and more capital, bringing them into Puerto Rico. So do you have any examples of other types of projects or opportunities that you may be interested in getting involved in in Puerto Rico or things that are really needed there that maybe other investors are interested in that would be a good fit for Puerto Rico to, to start right now in the qualified opportunity zone? Yeah, so you have a 96% of the island is a qualified opportunity zone. You've got the best surfing, you know, on the East Coast. So if you live anywhere on the East Coast and you like to surf or kiteboard or any of these things, Puerto Rico is your place. Um, you've got incredible infrastructure, you know, better than anywhere in the Caribbean. Uh, incredible agriculture opportunities. You've got uh, extremely talented people. So there's startup uh, uh, sort of technology uh, opportunities that exist there. Uh, I mean, you can do just about anything. You've got extraordinarily talented people, a general lack of opportunity. And now by investing in this place, uh, you can defer and essentially pay little to no tax by investing in this place. This is a, an incredible government initiative to reroute capital uh, directly uh, by investors into places that are in need of economic stimulus. And I think Puerto Rico is the place to make your investment. That's awesome. And is are you guys have a place where investors can connect and you know find like-minded individuals that are looking to help puerto rico or what is the call to action for these investors to find something that they like do they just start exploring puerto rico go there themselves or what kind of call to action do you have to those investors well we uh hope to continue to inform uh and help people find you know opportunities we want to marry or connect you know, individuals that are actually doing the work to build the things that are going to provide that economic stimulus. But we also want to cap connect the capital to those people. Uh, in the immediate term, you can come to our my website, which is brockpierce.io. And from there, you'll have a link to the resources uh, that we uh, uh, that will help you find the, the right opportunities, the qualified opportunities uh, to provide economic stimulus in Puerto Rico amongst other places. So please check that out. We uh, are going to be rolling out these tools and that information to, uh, uh, to support either those that are building or those with the capital uh, to provide the, uh, the resources for that development. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rock. This sounds like a great opportunity, you know, especially for people that have excess capital. This is such, uh, with the tax breaks involved, compared to investing anywhere else in America, it only makes sense. So do you have any final thoughts that you'd like to send to the viewers, investors, uh, about you know, getting involved in this project? Well, yeah, the main thing is if you have any capital gain that you owe this year, literally, if you have to write a check to the IRS for 10,000, 50,000, whatever your check is in the form of capital gains, if you take that check, and you invest it into a place where economic stimulus is needed, you can write the IRS a check for zero. So this is maybe the greatest gift you're going to hear. Uh, and uh, uh, this has been designed by our government. This is the most valuable uh, and most important, probably tax legislation that's been created in the last hundred years. Make sure to take advantage of it. It is your opportunity created by our government to be able to take that capital that you would normally be writing to the IRS in the form of capital gains, and you can invest that directly into places within the United States that are in need of economic stimulus. So you can go help people by providing much needed resources uh, to places in need, and, and you benefit greatly from it. So don't miss the opportunity to do so. And naturally, uh, I'm here to help you if Puerto Rico is the place you choose. That's amazing. Thank you, Brock Pierce, philanthropist and venture capitalist, focusing in Puerto Rico on these qualified opportunity zones. It really does sound like an amazing opportunity to help America. And uh, I'm glad that you are leading this initiative because uh, it sounds like you're actually here to help a lot of people. And in the end, it's all about helping other people. So I really thank you for your time today. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how you guys help Puerto Rico flourish and uh, for you to get other people involved and uh, start this movement. Thank you so much for having me.